Coach, after last game you talked about, you said you wanted to see how this team finished tonight. When you were playing, when you were playing Kansas, that kind of lost a lead. And then what, what was different tonight to make the them only, kind of step The only on the thing gas? I did was we played it like it was an eight-point finish. And what we wanted to do is keep shortening the game and make baskets. Um, we're still not quite there. We didn't finish off. We got too late in the shot clock. Some of them you want to go and shoot it and rebound it and you kick it out and you go again. And now you just use the minute off the clock. They don't have a chance to beat you. We hadn't worked on any of that with Kansas. I was just trying to get them to be a basketball team past each other. So we really didn't. Now we're beginning to. I'm trying to put guys in situations in these kind of games and see how they play. Um, we, ha we still had some breakdowns. Discipline. You can't just do what you want to do. We're a team. There was a game plan. Stick with it. And we kind of got out of it. But to be honest with you, the way we run and fly up and down the court, you know, I don't know if you can remember some past years where I'm just yelling, go, go. You could hear me through the TV because that's how I wanted us to play. But to play that way, you got to run. And it can't be me telling you to run. Just run. And um, there was good stuff today. Um, um, I did not see DJ, but I think they said his ankle, he just didn't, he wasn't going to come back. So we were really shorthanded. But, uh, a good game against a good team. I mean, we, we you know, defensively, we were, we were saying make the three hard, make them take tough twos. They can beat you with threes. And they also beat you if you turn it over because they unbelievably finish at the rim. And we just didn't turn it over that much. John, what did you see in Reed uh, maybe during his recruitment or even in Toronto that maybe indicated that he'd be able to have this kind of impact this this early in his career? Um, he, he's um, he's fear, he, the, the big my best players that I've coached and I've coached NBA all, MVPs, uh, you know, those players are even keel. Now they'll get emotional about a play, and, but they're never up and down. They're, the, those guys. They just are like that, and that's how he is. Now, I was just with Chip Rupp. The family, the Rupp family has been unbelievable to me. Chip and, and his son, Brad, they grew up together. So I saw him last night, and he said, I watched Reed as a ninth grader, 10th grader, 11th grader, 12th grader, and everybody's talking to me like he's a knockdown shooter. He was never a knockdown shooter. When I saw him, that was, you know what he's done? He lives in that gym, he works, and he's made himself kind of like Shea and some of these other kids that I've had. Uh, they build their own confidence. It's not me saying you're great or you're bad or, you know, it's them. Um, but I always saw his ability to have a feel for passing. Um, his hands, I, I, I'm not joking when I say this. That's Stacy's. That's who that is. Jeff wasn't that way. Stacy was that way. And, you know, you just see him get his hands on balls. But again, he had about five breakdowns today that were disciplined. He just, like, why'd you try to steal that? Why are you leaving your feet? We're not playing that way. Um, but he's young. He's young. I don't know. His plus minus was probably off the charts again. 30. Yeah, 35. So, um, but it was good. I mean, I, you know, um, we didn't take as many threes. And I know some people will be so mad because they're telling me how to coach and we need to take 35 threes and he doesn't listen and all that stuff. There are games you're going to take more and there are games you're going to take less. Just how it is. Yeah, John, I always thought overrated was about the dumbest cheer ever. I noticed you had to get after the student section late in the game because that's yeah, what they I were just, doing. Yeah, I just, you know, our fans are the best. Our students are the best. But I just, you know, uh, that kind of stuff I've never been, you know, we get it everywhere we go. And sometimes we got some coaches that would encourage that. I just don't, you know, they don't deserve that. It's the, they're, they're young kids. You know, let them, we may end up playing them again. Then all of a sudden, you know, that's living with them. So, no, I, I just said don't do it. And, the, and how about the fans? They responded and just stopped. That's how good a group that we have.
Cal, similarly, along those lines in the past, you've talked about saying to your players, you know, I want you to be a team that people love watching play. It seems like the reaction, people love watching this team play. What is that, that interplay? How important is that, sort of how the players maybe feed off of a, a fan base that's kind of anticipating? I don't think they do. I think they're into each other and they really like each other. You guys against Kansas got off to that hot start in the second half, then let it go, and you talked about learning how to finish. You guys kept well, it on the gas. Well, how about we're, we're, we were up, and then all of a sudden I look and we're down. <laughs> Call a timeout, and then we're up five at halftime, which was the Kansas score. Right. Um, but I'm, I'm just – to play as fast as we play, um, it doesn't – it's not just what it does for us. It's what it does to an opponent, and especially – uh, Jim's like I am. He's just not playing a whole lot of guys. He's, he was riding those guys. And now all of a sudden in that second half, that's when it hits. But, you know, I thought, again, we, we, we passed to each other, 26 assists. Um, I, I love the one where Robert got it and threw it right back to Reed, and Reed hits. The, I mean, come on. I mean, they're, they're, people aren't holding the ball. They're getting rid of it. So it's good stuff. Uh, Cal, another super assist to turnover ratio for you guys tonight as well. When you have players that can dribble, pass, and shoot, like Shea Alexander said, do you play this way? And you won't turn it over that much. We only had three at halftime. And a do had two that were easy. Look, what did you just do? Why didn't you look at him and throw it underhand to him? You rocketed up. And the other one you threw, what, what? or we'd have had one at halftime. In the speed of that game, now think about that. How fast we're playing, pretty good stuff. I was going to say on that note, just also, what's the confidence level in this team being able to continue that even in fast-paced track meet games like tonight was at times? We, this is how we play. And again, I, I, I'd say this, and I know I'm, I'm not – every team I've coached, I've had to coach different. If I tried to play this way last year, why are you laughing? We got people laughing. I couldn't have played this way who we had. Now, I'm not saying they're not good players. Oscar's getting 30 rebounds a game in there. But he's not Trey. Trey's not him. I wish Trey rebounded a few more balls. But you can't play this way if the guys aren't good with the ball and confident three-point shooters. So we've had three guards when we had Maxi and Quickly and uh, Johnny Juzang and Ash Ashton. I mean, we played that way. But we didn't have a five like Trey. We had Nick Richards. So he is more of a rim runner and a shot blocker. And, but I'm anxious to get a couple of the bigs back. And, I, I mean, I, the people that come in my gym, we got people that have never walked in my gym that are giving their opinions of what these big kids are or when or why or this or rumors or I, I don't get it. I mean, I really don't understand it. Like Aaron – the guys on TV watched it today and yesterday, watched him. So I'm hoping he plays Saturday. But what if he doesn't? Was I lying? No, I just think he will play Saturday. If he doesn't, he'll play the next Saturday. Z finally did not practice today, got sick. I don't think he's telling the truth. I am telling the truth. Had 104 fever. Isn't it going to be fun when we get these guys back? How about we talk that way? So it is what it is. Listen, appreciate y'all. I got to go do this radio. This is a half hour later for my body than normal. So I got to get home. So let me go do this radio. Appreciate it.